What is your definition of viral? Uh, viral is... Your personal definition. All right, my personal definition of viral is just, like, being everywhere. Like, um, everywhere you go, uh, everybody know about the thing that's supposed to be viral. Like, you feel me, on social media or in public and face-to-face. Uh, viral is everywhere. That's what viral mean to me. Would you say your song, Sneaky Link, has gone viral at this point? Almost definitely. Very viral. Now, what does that feel like? Okay, somebody watching this right now, mm -hmm. dreaming of having a song go viral, has no idea what that feels like. Right. You, having a song viral, and this not being your only song to go viral, mm -hmm. what does that feel like? I mean, it's the most amazing feeling in the world. It's, um, it's a dream come true, for sure. Uh, just just from not being viral, you know what I'm saying? Or just from remembering just a couple years ago, just trying to just get people to listen to my music, to being viral is just, just the best feeling. Like, just don't give up. If you're watching this, don't give up forever. Don't now, give up. when it comes to Sneaky Link mm -hmm. specifically, did that go viral instantly or did it take some time before it became uh, viral? It went viral like in a month and some weeks. Uh, I dropped it on Christmas and started going viral in February. So, yeah. And this was February of 2021? Yes, sir. Okay. And for time reference, it's November 2021 now. When it comes to your other catalog of music, mm. what, are the, what other songs would you say have gone viral in your past? Uh, um, Buzzin'. Uh, it was a um, Timbaland Drop remix. Uh, How You Steppin'. Uh, Chicago really made it go viral. Um, let me see. That's probably it. That's probably the most two big songs, you feel me? And what's the order you would say in popularity out of all three songs? Sneaky Link, How You Stepping on Bussin'. Yeah. And what was the order they were made? On Bussin', How You Stepping, Sneaky Link. That's crazy. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I'm only getting better. That's, uh, that's all that mean. Now, out of all three songs, was Sneaky Link the fastest to go viral? Um, if you can remember, the fastest you talking about, like, because I said that that one in some weeks. Right, exactly. Um, was it? It had the biggest growth when it started going viral, but I believe how you step it went viral fast. I dropped it on Facebook, and it went viral that same day. So. Yeah, how you stepping was faster. Now back to Sneaky Link. Mm -hmm. Do you remember how this song was initially released? What you mean? Like, like the history of this song. Oh, uh, so from yeah. the very beginning. Do you remember what platform it was placed on? So, uh, yeah. Before I get to the platform, I do. So basically, GMO, the producer, he um he sent me the beat, and I was just listening to the beat because I I remember telling him like I want like a like a lunchroom beat. Like back in the day, we used to be on the lunchroom tables and he ended up coming up with the beat. He sent it to me, but I did not know what to do with the beat. But we was just in my uh, my daddy basement and I was doing my demos for my tape called Lil My Music. And it was like the third song that I was doing and I just kept freestyling. And I, I was losing my train of thought and I got frustrated, took a deep breath. And then out of nowhere, it was, I started saying, girl, I can be your sneaky link, be your sneaky link. Then we looked at each other. They looked at me, and then it was like, it's a hit, you feel me? It was it was like a dream come true, for sure. But yeah, the first platform I dropped it on was on my tape, Lil Mom Music, on um, everywhere. It was Spotify, Apple Music, Amazon, all that. When this song went viral, what platform would you credit it to going viral? On? Yeah. TikTok. I gotta get TikTok all that credit for that. TikTok made a jump, for sure. And how did that happen? Do you remember? I remember, I really don't. I just remember seeing like people sending me some stuff. It was probably like 100, 200 videos at first, but I wasn't really thinking nothing of it because, like I said, I went viral with folks, so I'm used to people doing challenges. So I'm like, all right, you feel me? It's just another song. But then it was just going crazy. Like it was started to be all different type of famous content creators doing it. Then it was like, whoa. So, yeah. 
Do you credit a person specifically for helping this go viral? I can't really credit nobody. I just got credit everybody, you know. Okay. I, it's not no one person, you know. Okay. It was, it's a, it was a support effort. Got you, know, you. For sure. But at the time when you created Sneaky Link, uh, you never had an official challenge for it. These were people just... Just doing their own thing. Got you. It was... I remember the first challenge I seen was a girl sneaking into a boy's dorm room. That was That was like the first challenge I seen, for real. And then it was some dance challenges. Yeah, now it's a dance challenge. It's the Sneaky Link Challenge changed every week. So you feel me? That, that's cool to me, for sure. How personal are the lyrics on that song <laughs> to your real life? Like, I have mean, you been an actual Sneaky Link in I someone's mean, relationship? Yeah, I've been a Sneaky Link in all types of aspects. I've been, you feel me, when somebody... Had a, uh, you feel me? If a girl had a boyfriend, I was still her sneaky link, probably. Uh, I was a sneaky link. If I can't say that, well, I'm gonna say if I probably if I was in a relationship, I probably was another girl sneaky link. You know what I'm saying? Uh, but yeah, I have been a sneaky link in all different type of aspects for sure. But them lyrics, for sure. The whole verse, I, I live by that. You know what I'm saying? I heard you got a man. Hollywood don't give a damn. Truthful. Do you still feel like that today? I don't know. <laughs> yeah, to an extent, yeah. I'm getting older, you know what I'm saying? But yeah, it's sneaky link season, always. And that's what my next question was, is what do you think of that category of sneaky links, people that do that? Uh, I feel like ain't no shame in your game, you feel me? Just make sure your sneaky links stay sneaky. You know what I'm saying? If your sneaky link don't say sneaky, then what's the point of a sneaky link? Uh, you feel me? Just make sure you, yeah. I feel like I don't, ain't no shame. I don't really throw no shade to nobody with a sneaky link. Just do you and stay sneaky, because I can't throw shade at somebody if it's sneaky, because I don't know. You know what I'm saying? So if I do know, it ain't that sneaky. Now you, it's not a sneaky link. So yeah. On the opposite end of the spectrum, has that ever happened to you in a relationship? What, maybe, happened, what happened to me? Maybe you were in a relationship with someone and they were <laughs> someone else's sneaky link. Oh! Oh, yeah, we had, I had those before. Yeah, they had to go. I had to get rid of them. You know what I'm saying? That's the only time I don't accept a sneaky link, I guess. So you caught me right there. But yeah, I, I, I told you I've been on all sides of a sneaky link before. I've been a sneaky link, had the sneaky link. Sneaky Link. Now, do you think, well, I, when it comes to your history of relationships you've been in, mm -hmm. did you have a Sneaky Link first before you found someone being a Sneaky Link in the, or having a Sneaky Link in their relationship with you? Like, do you feel like that was, you? You gotta say you, that one more time. Okay, yeah. okay. <laughs> all right. All right. All right. Were you, did you have a Sneaky Link first? Right, but first she was in a relationship with me. Before someone, else, before you were in a relationship with someone, that was a sneaky link for someone. Or, I mean, do you get what I'm trying to say? I'm trying to say this. Okay. Let me let me break it down a little. Okay. Bit. I'm listening. Because this sound because this could sound confusing. Okay. Do you think when you were a sneaky link at one point in a relationship, mm -hmm. maybe karma happens and it the opposite happens to you? Oh. Or did it happen to someone else and that kind of got you to become? If you get what I'm trying to say. I, I don't know. I feel like I was somebody's sneaky link. That's why I made the song. <laughs> but then afterwards, you feel me? Oh, I guess I didn't like being a sneaky link. I don't know. So that's when I started having sneaky links. So I, I, I kind of get what you're saying. But yeah, we go. that's how we're going to answer that. Because I kind of confused on for sure. Yeah, I apologize if I <laughs> confuse you. I guess I was trying to say, were you, were you doing this first and then it happens to you, so like, ah, this is karma for doing it yourself. Oh, uh, karma. Yeah. I mean, yeah, I guess. I guess. Yes. Okay. Maybe. <laughs> well, we'll fast forward with the questions. Okay, I got off topic, maybe. But, uh, cool. all right. When it comes to having a song go viral, because this is the third time now mm -hmm. that this has happened to you, the third time you've had an experience of this, All right. what's the secret 
How do you do this? How do I do it? Yeah. This is, happened for the third time. You want the secret, uh, Krabby Patty formula is what you're asking for. Uh, is there a secret? Is this just the stroke of I, luck? Is, really, just, is there luck. a strategy it's to talent. it? It's talent. It's most definitely talent. It ain't luck. Okay. I do have a strategy. You know what I'm saying? If you listen to my music, you'll figure out the strategy, I guess, if you really study it. But I really, um, I just I just have fun. That's it. You feel me? I have fun. I be myself. People like that. And I'm going to keep doing that. That's the secret right there. Being myself. Be yourself. For sure. When it comes to all three experiences, mm. was it all organic? Yeah. That's the that's the most fun part about it. That is all it all be organic. You know what I'm saying? Like it don't be no nothing. It don't be no feel me, no 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 fake numbers, no none of that. I literally you feel me? Everything organic. Even the followers today, you know what I'm saying? A lot of people probably be like, Why well, ain't got a million followers yet? That's cause you feel me, I ain't finna go out and bat no followers. I'm gonna wait until they come organically. Just like my views and my likes and subscriptions, you know what I'm saying? If it take the longer it take, it's cool, as long as it came organically. For sure. Now you have a run it up records chain around your neck today. For sure. When it came, as far as chronologically, mm. with these three experiences of you going viral, right? were you signed with them from the very beginning before these three experiences of going viral, or uh, it happened after I, a specific instance? I was signed after all three, you feel me? All three feelings. That was, the, I guess, the fourth time I went viral with the remix with Soldier. you feel me? That's when I was running up. Okay. But the first three, with how you step in, on busting, and sneak, first sneaking link, I was in, you feel me, independent. I by see. Myself. So um, it's not like somebody watching this is saying, "Well, he signed to a record label, so the record label yeah went got him to go viral." Yeah, that's what I need y'all to stop thinking too, because you feel me. I had the views, you know what I'm saying? Mm -mm, mm -mm, organically. Shout out to y'all. Shout out to the supporters. And uh, when it came to advertising or marketing, would mm -hmm. you ever pay for any? Advertising or marketing when it came to any of these three instances? I ain't never paid a dollar out of my pocket for no type of promotion, advertising. All I did was post it on YouTube or a, a platform. What's that called? A music platform. That's it. When it came to Sneaky Link, did you foresee this song going viral when you initially created it? Yeah, I told you the story. <laughs> when we looked at each other, it's like, you know how, I guess... Every uh, artist or entertainer, when you in the studio and you're making a song, you should always, in the back of your head, be like, this mic could blow up. You know what I'm saying? It was one of those. It was like, maybe this is going to blow up. You know what I'm saying? It wasn't like, this is going to be the top five trending song on YouTube. It wasn't one of those. It was just like, this is going to blow up. You know what I'm saying? That's how you feel about all your songs. But this one just, <sighs> all the way, for sure. Okay. And that's the thing. Sometimes artists will create a song and they'll tell themselves or the people in the studio, this is a hit. Mm -hmm. This one's out of here. And then like you said, sometimes it's a, I think I got something. Maybe this could go somewhere. Mm -hmm. I don't know quite exactly, but maybe this has, this has something to it. So I didn't know if that was one of those instances. For sure. Um, okay. I got a few more questions in regards to this topic. Okay. If you feel like you've answered some of these questions already, then you can skip it or add on to it. And if not, feel free to provide an answer to it. But what did this entire experience teach you? What did you learn from going viral? Um, I learned that you got to, um, I'm trying to see. You just got to, I don't know if you're saying this, but you just got to remain yourself because it can really mess with your, your personality, you know what I'm saying? Like, it, I see how easily it is for people to become big here, or how easy it is for people to, you know what I'm saying, uh, not stick to themselves or stay true to themselves because you got all, everything you want, especially if you always want to go viral, it's all there now, you know what I'm saying? You got all these people, you got all the girls throwing themselves at you, you know what I'm saying? You got all these, everybody trying to be your homie, everybody trying to, you feel me, say they been supporting you since the jump. You just gotta determine real love from fake love, for real. So, 
when you go viral or you do anything big or accomplish any big goals, you got to make sure you can tell the difference between fake love and real love. You know what I'm saying? For sure. You have a hint for the people watching? You said a hint? Yeah, do you have a hint on that when it comes to real love versus fake love? Oh, yeah. I, I go off energy. So I be knowing when somebody there for me genuinely or when somebody's just there because they just want to be around because what's going on. But, yeah, I, I pick up on that easy. Is it like an intuition? Yeah, it's like a superpower. <laughs> That's, a, that's my power. If you could turn back the hands of time, would you have done anything different with Sneaky Link? The song? Nah. Nah, not at all. Not at all. It's perfect the way it is. What do you wish you knew before this song went viral, if anything? Um, Looking back at how everything's turned out. I feel like I answered that. Okay. Later. Anything else you want to mention about this song or question I didn't ask, people want to know about it. Um, Sneaky Link. I'm trying to see. Uh, questions that people be having. Yeah, do they have any questions about the song? The original, the 2.0? The original. Uh, I guess to clear it up, a lot of people be asking me, is Glizzy my Sneaky Link? You know what I'm saying? But nah, we ain't, we ain't Sneaky Links. We, we family, you know what I'm saying? We ain't, we ain't Sneaky Links. Uh... That's probably it. You know what I'm saying? That's the question I get all the time. Uh, yeah. Yeah, a lot of people ask me my favorite verse. Uh, I feel like all of them is raw. You feel me? Obviously, if they on a song and it's out and it's public, it's raw to me. Ain't no favorite verse. Everybody equivalently did they did that shit for sure. Are you being politically correct here? <laughs> <laughs> Trying to say the right thing so you don't hurt anybody's feelings? Nah, everybody snap though. Okay. I want I want to wreck them. They snap. You feel me? I snap. They all snap. Everybody snap for sure. Since this song went viral, what's your opinion on viral songs now? Um. Uh, Do you view them any different? Yeah, I see. Um, like other people viral songs. Yeah. Yeah, I I be seeing what made them viral, you know what I'm saying? Like, I, having viral music, you see how other people went viral too. Like, it'd be like something they're saying they words or something with the beat. So I just pay attention and observe for sure. When you create music, do you ever create music with the thought to go viral? Ever? Do you ever create like a phrase or a, you know, the, uh, the, um, the idea of the song and, and oh, I think this will go viral. Let me go, let me keep going with it. I think. No, nah, I don't really think viral. I just think, I know. I just think for me, really, because if I'ma have fun to it, that's my. That's one. I guess that's one of my keys. If I, if I'ma dance to it, I know other people go dance to it. Cause like I said, I'm a dancer. If it make me wanna get up and jig and do my dance, then I know everybody else gonna wanna do that. So, yeah. Anything else on the subject of viral songs while we're at it? Um. Every song that y'all, you feel me? It's for everybody out there who make music. Every song that you think. That's probably a hundred percent go go viral. It's probably not. It's gonna be every song that you don't think that's go go viral. That's usually how I go. You feel me? But yeah, that's it. Now, in regards to the run it up record situation, mm -hmm. was that the first time you ever signed a recording contract? Yeah, that's the first time. How did this happen? Uh, Give me the story on it. So basically, I was going, I was having a lot of, uh, a lot of label calls from like everybody, from majors to um, independents. You feel me? From distributions, everything. I was talking to everybody. Uh, I came, I flew out to Cali to talk to another, uh, another label, but at the same time, um, my uh, manager told me that it was a it was running up trying to talk to me too. Um, so I met with like two labels that time. Uh, I met with, I forgot who I met with first, but I, I think I met, I met with running up first, and then I went to the, uh, another label and met with them. But I, um, 
I felt love from running up. Like I felt like they genuinely cared about my music. Um, I felt like everybody else, they just, you feel me? They just, they ain't really get me. You know what I'm saying? They ain't, they ain't really understand me. You know what I'm saying? Run it up, understood me. They let me be me. That's the only thing that I was really looking for. Let me be me. You know what I'm saying? Now everyone's situation is different, but for you, why even sign a recording contract to begin with? Cause some don't. Uh, I mean, I, I had that type of energy at first. You know what I'm saying? Just want to stay to myself. But it's a lot of things that I don't know. It's a lot of things. It's a lot of su support or connections that I need that I couldn't do myself. You know, so that's really why it was like, let me go towards a label route. I just needed the extra connections. It's all about networking, you know. Care to share what kind or what type of contract you end up signing? Mm-mm. I don't. I mean, I don't want to say that. <laughs> no problem. Are you biologically related to anyone on Run It Up? No. Not at all. No, Run It Up, nah. And do you remember what month or what year you end up signing? It was this year. It was like two months ago. Okay. Yeah, it was in summertime. I don't remember what month, but it was in summertime. And when it came to 2.0, mm -hmm. and it came to Kayla and Soldier Boy, was mm -hmm. that your idea? Uh, no. Nah, it wasn't my idea. It wasn't my idea. The Chicago remix was my idea, but not uh, not that one. How did that come about? Which one? 2.0. Uh, it was really a uh, city, the uh, CEO of Run It Up. He and uh, Boss Life, Lito. They um, they both, was you feel me, doing they dibbling, dabbling, and uh, they presented it to me. And you feel me? And they did what they did, for sure. Did you have others in mind for 2.0 personally? Yeah, I did. I had a couple people. And why didn't those end up working out? I mean, I don't know. <laughs> just curious. I, I had I don't know. It's just I guess I don't know. I guess they they visioned it differently. You know what I'm saying? So they just put two different people on it. And my last question to you. Mm. What's it like being signed to run it up? Uh, it's cool. Um, I feel like being signed to run it up, it it let me it let me be me. Um, like I said, that's one of the major key things I keep saying today. It just let me be me. It let me do what I want. You know what I'm saying? Uh, and it gave me the right connections. It's not too overwhelming, and you feel me? It's not like I don't I don't get enough attention, you know what I'm saying? Because in, in a lot of labels, you probably get underlooked past other people in your label. Uh, I feel like I'm really a good contribution to the label, you know? Uh, but yeah, I, I mess around it up. I keep running it up. So we keep doing it for sure. And for full disclosure, a rep at Run It Up helps set this interview up. Are oh, you just telling me? Yeah, I'm just for the audience. Oh. <laughs> just letting the audience know, just for transparency. What's up?